There are two types of commonly used torque wrench designs, a square drive tool and a low profile tool. Your ability to fit these tools into your application will likely dictate which of these you'll use. The S-Series square drive tool has a reaction arm mounted to the base, which can be adjusted or replaced per your application. The socket is mounted to the drive here. Remember to use a socket rated to your torque, not a hand tool socket. And finally, the direction of the wrench for loosening and tightening can be adjusted by pressing this button and changing positions. The W series low profile wrench is divided into two primary components the drive, and the cassette. Instead of using a socket, the cassette can be replaced to accommodate different nut sizes, but you can also use inserts. This point is commonly used as the reaction arm, but other arms can be attached. And to change the direction of the wrench for tightening and loosening, simply flip over the wrench and note the arrow for the direction of rotation. Setting up a hydraulic torque wrench can be done in four simple steps. Inspect the equipment, connect the components, set the torque value, and test for proper function. As with any tool, you should inspect a hydraulic tool before use. The most common issues can be avoided when you check the pump, electrical, or pneumatic components for damage, confirm that your hose is rated to 10,000 PSI, and check for signs of abrasion or cracks, and check the couplings on the hose, pump, and wrench for dirt and debris. Next, connect the hose to the pump and the wrench. Note that the couplers are polarized to prevent connecting to the wrong ports. Then set your torque. Locate the data sheet or calibration sheet for your wrench. Identify your target torque and the corresponding pressure for that torque. For instance, on a 4,000 foot-pound tool, you'll generate about 4,000 foot-pounds at near 10,000 PSI. To generate 2,000 foot-pounds from that tool, set your pressure to 5,000 PSI. Set your wrench and your hose on the ground away from people and equipment. Plug your pump into the power source and press and hold the advance button. As you hold that button, adjust your relief valve on the pump to set the pressure. Now that the correct pressure is reading out from the gauge, Press and hold the advance button several times to ensure proper function of the wrench. First, connect your pump to a power source. Make sure you're using a grounded source and that your extension cord is properly rated. Then verify that your reservoir is full of oil. And when you're ready, flip the switch on right behind the valve stack here. Ideally, the task can be completed by a single operator, but if two operators are necessary, ensure that they have clear visual and verbal communication. Place the wrench on the nut and ensure you have square contact between the reaction arm and the reaction point. Always keep your fingers clear of this point during operation. The pump control pendant has two buttons. The top button will both turn on the pump and it will also advance the wrench whereas the bottom button will stop the pump, but the pump will turn itself off after an extended period without use. When the desired torque is applied to the wrench, the wrench will slow and the target pressure will read out on your pump's gauge. Once complete, Press both buttons on the pendant simultaneously to release the pressure. This will allow you to remove the wrench from the nut. As always, consult your tool's instruction manual before use for detailed safety and operation instructions.